You used a term about artificial intelligence that I thought was interesting because I've heard it in a thousand other kinds of software applications and never heard it applied to the concept of AI before, and that's user-centered design. How does that term apply in an AI environment or to an AI application? Yep, the key element there is as you're defining that problem set, the requirements for the solution of having that user or the analyst or the operator, whatever a case may be, involved in defining those requirements and then involved in the development. So very similar to kind of agile software development of having them continually look at pieces over time as you're developing it. So one, it improves their knowledge and how it works. Because one of the big challenges with AI right now is the explainability of AI, where a lot of cases you build an algorithm, it's a black box, it makes a decision. But if you have those users in the mix, they understand why it's making the decisions. They can help adjust it. They can see the decisions it's making to increase their confidence in it so they'll actually use it within the context of their organization. Justin Naroto, Booz Allen Hamilton, thanks very much. I appreciate it. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.